Hello, Zephyr's community, and welcome back to another World Tense console video. So, in this video, I'm going to be playing the Spirit of War on Lakeville. So, I already did a video on the Spirit of War that was a pretty long video. It held out really good in that match. So, if you want to go watch it, you can go watch it. But in that match, I didn't really get to show you the whole down capabilities of this tank. Now, what other map is there to be better to go hold down? than Lakeville, especially down the one and two line. So that's exactly where I'm going because this tank is designed to play in a hold down position because it has a really strong turret that has like 300 millimeters of front ar turret armor with 10 degrees of gun direction. So yeah, you really want to play a hold down position in this tank. So yeah, and now, and don't play like this enemy stir, okay? Because that enemy, I mean, Spirit of War, that enemy Spirit of War is not really going to last because he's just kind of not playing the tank how it's designed to be played. How it should be played. How the stats of the tank make it want to be played. So the enemy Spirit of War is going to die really quickly. The enemy artillery managed to kill itself. I don't know where it killed itself. It might have drowned. I wasn't really paying attention. But also, I have set my spirit of war with quite good vision. So that's also you're going to be seeing me getting vision. Also, when you're in a hold down position and you're all the way at the front, doesn't matter. It your vision really does come important because you're spotting all. Notice I'm spotting all of these tanks, getting a whole bunch of spot assists because I'm providing support for my allies, and my two artillery can rain down shots onto the enemy tanks. Now, I'm actually trying to get a shot on this hard case, and I miss. I don't know where that shell actually hit. I don't know if it was a gut shell, or I was aiming at a spot that was actually not tenable, and it just looked like it, or I just completely not really missed, and the artillery managed to splash hit me and knock out my commander in this tank. Sucks, but I have a med kit. Hopefully, that doesn't happen again, because... I like having a commander in my tank. Also, if you end up liking this video, consider subscribing because it's free. Helps out the channel a ton. Also, don't forget to slap the like button because we're always not. So, yeah. Right now, we're still fighting this ridge line, trying to get a shot onto the artillery. Damage the artillery's gun, I believe. And that's also a revenging shot of what he did to me. Now, let's see if I can get a position. Right now, I'm trying to get a good shots on the other tanks, but the Spirit of War on the enemy team died in a really annoying position for the position I want to work in. Now, right here, I'm really thinking this TNH is actually staring at me, but he was actually turning his turret sideways. So I managed to pin the side of the turret of the TNH. And there's the Comp 50 t I damaged something on its tank. I don't know what it was, but it was a critical hit. Now, I'm actually thinking about falling back then realizing it's just the enemy light tank. There's only four tanks left, and it already died. Start certain spin goes down. Now it's just the three tanks left. A light tank, that Compounder 50T, and the artillery. And I also have a two hit point tortoise in front of me. That torch is going to die, especially if the artillery lands any shot around me or the tortoise. It dies. So here's the Compenser T. Really wanted to track that shot, but kind of rushed it. I did ram it for 80 damage, which I didn't take any ramming damage to myself. And now it's the artillery. Now let's see if I can actually put one shot. See if I can get the killing shot on the artillery because that'd be nice because I took out my commander. And that's the, the artillery is the only one that actually damaged me that entire match. So I managed to bounce 2,200 damage, nearly 4,000 damage dealt, and 3,000 assisted. So that's it for this video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, remember to watch fish because we're not. And peace out. See ya.